Thank you, Helen, for this beautiful alignment. And welcome all to our ninth lab session. Today, we will be entering a new phase in our work with our nations in this lab. Uh, so let's just re recapitulate what we did so far. We have worked with two different aspects so far. First, we have put a lot of care into <clears throat> building our base, our group field, our network of national units of silent watchers. Few new units have been formed and we have um, consolidated, stabilized our network. And then the last few sessions uh, we spent with establishing a line of contact with the higher consciousness of our nation. And this, of course, is a pioneering work. We are only at the beginning of familiarizing ourselves with this area of our planetary life. Some of us have the impression that through all this work that is being done now by many groups on the national level, not only here in our lab, that a whole new strata of consciousness is starting to come alive for us to vibrate on our planet. So perhaps we can say that we have established a bit of a footing now at the midway point between the world of national souls and the world of national personalities. Yeah, the, the Tibetan calls this midway point for an individual, the stool of the director. And we in our lab here have called it, have come to call it, uh, to stand on our pinnacle. It's this elevated place from which we can overview and direct the lower expression. And for the new group of World Service as a whole, we are part of the Ajna Center of the planet. So from this place, we can now start to look down into the national personality. And today we would like to do together our first general overview to use our meditation flashlight, our tool of inquiry, in order to perform something that we could call a survey or a scan of the national personality. So we will look at the physical, emotional and mental aspects of our nation, one after the other. Um, perhaps let's go through a brief little introduction, a little rundown of this process uh, that afterwards we will do meditatively. Um, so this time there will be uh, more of uh, more detail, a greater amount of detail that we will be covering than usual. Uh, you don't need to take notes. We can make uh, our outline available to whoever is interested in it. And also there is a chapter dedicated to this part of the work in my book, Awaken the Will to Love. So let's start with the physical field of a nation. This is the easiest aspect because it's based on measurable facts. We have maps and we have statistics. Um, 
where we can learn about the, the physical presence of our nation with its characteristics and resources and problems with its nature and rural areas and cities and roads. Um, and we also can include in the physical aspect of the nation uh, the physical bodies of the citizens. So this is relatively easy, although it's also of value to, in the meditation, to, to get a grasp of it, to imagine this, get a sense of it, especially the etheric aspect of this physical plane. <clears throat> Okay, and the next the emotional field of a nation, this is uh, more complex because, of course, we cannot see it, like it's also in an in a individual human being. And also it's much more diversified, much more dynamic than what's going on on the physical. There are all the time, simultaneously, many different streams and fluctuations going on in this field, triggered by outer events, non-stop. Um, we can say that each experience in the collective life brings out an emotional reaction. So we have a lot of emotional reactions over the centuries or millennia of the existence of a nation and they are contained within the emotional body. So we have there the more superficial short-lived feelings, the momentary moods, fluctuations, responding to the happenings of the time and then there are also the emotional patterns and characteristics which have formed over a long period of time through repetition. Because when we, when an experience is repeated very often, then an emotional reaction that is repeated becomes a tendency, is, it becomes substantial and is built into the system, becomes a character trait. And of course, these character traits then play out in the relations within the nation and also with other nations. So that's a rich field of observation. Okay, and now the mental field. We have the same thing here, the same as in the emotional field Mm, there are the feelings uh, and also generated uh, new feelings. So in the mental field are contained the thoughts of the nation and repeated thoughts become mental constructs that we call thought forms. And then when they are there, when they exist, then they filter our experience. So this is what the collective mind is doing. It contains all of these thoughts and it creates new thoughts. Energy follows thought like for an individual also in a nation. And it's the generations of thinkers of a nation that add to the collective mind, that build the collective mind. And um, yeah, the big thinkers, they bring their brilliance and the breadth of vision. And the small thinkers add distortions and density. And all of this is contained in the national mental body. And around this, 
evolves the collective. And all human beings are born into these collective thought forms and they are conditioned by them. And this happens before they ever have a chance to choose. And only when we get to the level of the Ajna consciousness, will we be able, are we able to self-reflect? So this is happening on the, on the individual level and also on the national level, it's these groups of thinkers, of, of silent watchers that can do this self-reflection, national self-reflection, and that can actually, um, we can free ourselves from the national conditioning and we can start to become a director of national thought. Yeah, okay. So, this is of course quite a complex thing to do and it takes time. It uh, can take a, a long time depending on the age and the state of consciousness of a nation. And of course, each component, physical, emotional, mental, needs a lot of uh, specific pondering, meditative inquiry. Uh, today we will do just a first broad overview of all of them, just looking into them not making too much of a mental effort. It's just opening ourselves and uh, um, being receptive to our impressions, first impressions. And maybe in, in following sessions of the lab, we could perhaps focus uh, more specifically on each one of them or on one of them. Let's see. Okay, so now let's use our inner antennas in the meditation that we do in the moment. And um, make a point of uh, leaving things loose, not making too much of, an, of a concrete mental effort, not trying to define things, to understand things. Let's just open ourselves to the quality, to the atmosphere, maybe some visual impressions. And on the other hand, if there's nothing really forming, nothing really graspable, uh, that's okay, because with continued use, uh, we will pick up impressions. As we will zoom in more into the into detailed aspects of the nation, it also becomes easier. Uh, we would like to suggest that you have pen and paper ready this time because of uh, because it will be more more detail and perhaps you would like to to jot down some impressions so you won't forget them as we go on it's more of a scientific process today okay So, let's get ready for our observation. <clears throat> 